Hey guys, so uh, here's an update. So, oh, where's the paper go? Here's a hint of what we're doing today. And now it looks like a fucking chicken scratches, but there is a logic behind it. Actually, it might be backwards on the video, so we'll flip it around. Anyway, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? So, the block is back from machine shop, crank, uh, main cap, girdle. All back. Um, they checked out. Flat, no machining. Um, bores looked good. Crank journals looked good. There was no uh, uh, no gouges, no signs of wear like on the bearings. So we are replacing all the rod bearings. We're replacing all the main cap bearings and the thrust washers. So thrust washers, luckily, are universal. However. Our bearings, and because I don't want to go and buy a $500 micrometer, we're going to do it the Honda way, which is, I've looked up the, uh, there's a four digit number on the crank, there's a five, le there's a five, there's a, there's a four character grouping of numbers, um, I guess we'll put a picture of the um, of where it is right now in the video, so you can see it. And there's also five numbers, which equate to the main journals, because there are five journals, and there are four rod caps. On mine, it is C, C, B, C, and my crank, and the, and the journal numbers are 4443. Four, now on my girdle, we have another five, five numbers or letters or marks. My girdle is four, 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 four. So uh, let's get to uh, how we figure this out. And also on my pistons, I have four pistons and their numbers in the order that I saved them in, which was flywheel to timing is two, three, three, two. So uh, let's... Uh, Let's get a close up of this paper and I'll show you how we're figuring that, figuring figuring this out. Alright, so even though this paper is thin at work, it's covering grease and debris, and it's pretty nasty, but I don't give a shit. So what we're gonna, right what we're gonna start with is our uh, Oh come on, right, right, right. Where the fuck did my pen that actually works go? Here we go. We'll do connecting rod bearings. And as all these number letterings go, we start from the flywheel. To what was that called? Pulley end. AKA Timing, pulleys, all that. So our connecting rod bearings, we have the four numbers, because we have four connecting rods is C, C, B, and C. C, C, B, C. And then on our pistons, I've actually, there's a stamped code on them, which is 4646, four, and the other says 4343 four, at the end. And it says 2332. Two. The number is what differentiates between the serial code. So that's how I tell the difference and how I try to keep them in order. Um, I could swap it up, but I don't feel like it. So, yeah. So our flywheel to pulley is two, three, three, two. Now it's a little bit hard to read. Can I can I zoom it in? Oh, yes, we can zoom in it. Oh, but then we gotta turn everything. I don't know if you guys could read that. I'll probably flip it in post so you can see it. So, as you, I'm gonna throw up on the screen the chart right now. Actually, I'll, I'll put it like in a corner like where my hand is right now so you guys can see it. So, our main journal code, or actually, when there's letters, 
there's letters. So we'll go with our letters, which is C. And then we go down to 2, which says C2 is green. C3 is C3 is green, brown. So what that means is green is the green bearing. When it says green slash brown or pink slash yellow, black slash blue, when it has a slash, you could use either or. When it just says green, use the green one. Now you also want to uh, double check your clearances with a plastic gauge when assembling and go from there. But generally with green and brown, I could use either green or brown, so I'm going to buy one of each just to be sure. And you can actually mix, you can mix these two, like a green and a brown to if you I might be able to put one green, one run brown, just for clearance purposes. But you can never do like, um, like a pink, like a yellow and a brown to get a green. You can't do that. You, you, can't, you can't mix like that. But when it says green and brown, you can use either green or brown according to Honda's rules. Let's get to our third, which is B, Bravo. 3, which is green, and then Charlie 2, which is, we know because Charlie 2 is here as well, green. So we need 2, 4, 6, 8 greens, and one pair of brown, and two browns. Now for our main journals, we're just gonna make a little box right there. So our, let's see, crank bore, the uh, Crank bore code, which is what's on the on the crank, is four, 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 three, three. One. One second. One. Sorry about that. So our crank is four, 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 three, three. Now, if we go to our girdle, which would be our main journal code we have four 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 now we use letters here you can either have letters numbers or markings as you can see in the uh, little corner here what the fucking god dang it yeah son of Okay, there we go. It's, it's hard trying to move it. All right, so we know our crank bore code, which is on the crank, can either be a number, a letter, or a marking. But these are numbers. So we'll take 4 to 4, which is black. And then our next journal is 4 to 4, so another black then four to four black four 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 three to four which is brown and then three to four brown so my main journal bearings will be black black black, brown, brown. Flywheel, second journal, third journal, fourth journal, and this will be the last journal, which goes to our timing belt, 
our timing belt, timing chain, and our belt driven accessories. And uh, that is how you figure out the Honda way, which is the color codes. So if you order, and this is the color codes for really only if you're using. OEM pistons and OEM con or OEM connecting rods and an OEM crank. If you use aftermarket rods, throw this out of the fucking door. <laughs> Forget about this fucking shit because it ain't gonna fucking work. It just ain't gonna work. You, you're gonna have to start measuring tolerances and getting the bearings that will give you the proper clearance, and that makes it a little more complicated. But be because this is a fully stock build. I'm just rebuilding it. We're not upgrading our um, connecting rods. We're not doing anything to crank. We're not changing any component of the system. We can do it the, old fa the Honda factory way of color coding these, these bearings. Now, I could go with aftermarket, and these color codes do translate into uh, a, sp a specification. So I could find a aftermarket bearing that adheres to the specification based on these color codes, but I'm going to try to get the OEM bearings. I've called up a few dealerships. You can see some other scribbles here. Um, one place, uh, one dealership I called wants $24.99 per bearing. Now, I'm not talking about top and bottom. We're talking about in bearings you have two half moons. Okay, two half moons. Only one half is twenty-five fucking dollars. And for your connecting rod and for your uh, connecting rod bearings, that's two hundred dollars right there. Another place I called one like twenty dollars and. I asked, since I work at a shop, I was like, what, what's the wholesale price? And a lot of places, like, one place was like $17, and fuck the deal of shit, man. Like, they're even, they're, they're fucking bearings. They're bearings. They're not supposed to be fucking $25 a fucking bearing. Come on. So I'll find, I'll find a different way to do it. But, uh, this video's gone on long enough. It's been long. My hands are dirty. I just got home from work, so never trust a mechanic with clean hands. Never. Like maybe clean like that, but you're always gonna have the dirt and the nails and shit unless you soak unless you've been working on a few gas tank, you had your hands soaking in there for a while. But yeah. I work for a living, my hands are dirty, deal with it. And I keep my fingernails long because I gotta feel shit. Well, not long-ish, sort of, enough that I can peel shit. Because, uh, there's plenty of times I need to peel something off. And, uh, if you had fucking flat fingernails, couldn't do jack shit, so. Yeah. Alright, boys. Bye.